excited about breaking camp officially? Um, yes and no. You know, I love camp. I think uh, it's the best time of year to get better. You know, with the, the competition, the focus on football, uh, the amount of time that, that you're able to spend in the meeting room on the practice field. Uh, you know, I think we gained so much from it. So part of me is sad that it's breaking, it's over, but yeah, it's, it's, it's the next step. I'm excited for, for what's in front of us and, and the opportunities we have in front of us. And, um, you know, this just means we're moving on to uh, moving on to that. Are you feeling the benefits of having an offensive line together here for a whole game? Yeah, of course. I think the offensive line is really doing a nice job. I think um, past few days especially, pass protection has been really, really good. been really excited about the way they're, they're moving around, passing guys off, and, and just giving me time back there. So, uh, you know, started back last week in the game, did a great job, and then I think they've continued to build off that. What, um, what do you feel is the biggest benefit that you've noticed like, right away that you notice when you have a line together instead of shuffling guys in and out? Well, the consistency. You know, I think they, they know how each other's plays, that there's the trust factor that, okay, I've passed this twist off with this guy, you know, 200 times by now, so I know he's going to be there in the right spot. And um, yeah, just the trust, trust the man beside you, and uh, the consistency of knowing the flow of the offensive line is huge. Having that um, being the same over a course of several weeks. I saw you had a little moment before Adam before <clears throat> kickoff, and you said you can't even imagine. What was that conversation like? He gave you a little hug. And... Yeah, he was like, uh, I don't remember exactly what he said. Something to, to the effect of. Um, you know, are you, uh, I'm excited to have you back out here. And I was like, you know, you don't even know. You don't even know how excited I am just to be here and uh, be on this field, get to do what I do, play the game I love. Uh, it was a long, long time coming. So it was great to get back under the lights and, and play some football. You talked about the trust of the players. Is the trust of your own body 100% back? Like having that one game under your, you know, one series. But does that yeah. give you a little more confidence in, in yourself, your body, your knee? I think the trust has been there for a while now. You know, I think... Um, Throughout the spring, that's when I really got the 100% trust back, is, is being able to do everything I need to do out here uh, and more throughout the, the training process and, and practices, uh, doing all the running, cutting, um, the movements that I need to do. I think that's what gave me the confidence and, and the trust. Now, I don't even think about it. It's just going out and playing the game. This next game, how much do you expect to play? And to I, have, I have no idea. Gase hasn't, hasn't even uh, let me know anything yet. You, you, you want to play a little more, though. Yeah, obviously, you, do you I? want to get out there a little more. Yeah, I, I, uh, I wanted to play more last week. You know, you get the, especially my first time playing in a long time, you know, I got the juices flowing and uh, got a taste of, of the action and, and I wanted more. But, you know, Gase has a plan. He does everything for a reason. So uh, I'm sure I'll get to play a little more this week. Right. Do your goals progress each week in the preseason? Do you have different things, more advanced things you want to try to get out of this week compared to last week? Yeah, there's specific things that, that will go into each preseason game. All right, you know, uh, last week it was, a sense of urgency uh, to the line of scrimmage, tempo to the line of scrimmage, uh, getting the guys up and going, and uh, I think we did that. You know, I think we did a good job of that. Now that's one series, so we have to continue to that, and we'll add something else this week that'll be our, our focus. How much of a challenge is it to work with a new batch of wide receivers with, with uh, Jakeem and Albert in there with Stills and, and Devontae out? Yeah, it's a little bit of a challenge. You know, I think um, the benefit is they're, they're really talented guys. You know, we, we have had. Uh, throwing sessions in the summer. I was working with those guys out here. You know, I've been trying to work them in, um, but it is an adjustment having different different guys out there, different bodies, different body types. Um, but they're both really talented guys and and can play the can play the position in a way that we need them to play. So, yeah, it's just it's just a matter of, of getting the the reps and getting comfortable with you know how each guy moves and under duress. You know, when he's getting pushed, you know how he's going to recover and little things like that. Like you know, when you're throwing and you got free access, then it's it's like nothing, but it's the little things of, all right, he's getting pushed. You know, one guy recovers a different way than another guy, but you have to throw it at the same time. So um, just knowing how each guy recovers a little differently is, is the adjustment. Brian, can you talk a little bit about your spots when it comes to what happened on like a Sunday with Kalen? What goes into that as a leader? When, when is the right time, I guess, to Yeah, you, you, you don't want to be a uh, iron fist all the time. You know, at least I don't. You know, I, I like to... Uh, Pick my spots, like you said, and uh, have a reason for everything that I do. You know, I think um, I believe in Kalen. I know that the talent he has, uh, he has every tool that we need him to have. He's big, he's strong, he's fast, he catches the ball well, he can pass protect. Um, and I told Kalen after the fact, I just want him to have more urgency. You know, we want him to help us. I know he can help us, um, but we have to know what we're doing when we're on the field, especially in pass protection. And um, 
and I think he's he's picked it up. I think he's doing a good job of of uh, pressing forward, and, and he's going to help us this year. Ryan, can you talk a little bit about the red zone offense? Do you feel like you have more options this year than you've had in the past? Yeah, I think you know you add uh, some new receivers, uh, a couple new tight ends uh, that are really talented, especially you know Mike, guy who's long and athletic, uh, rangy, and. Uh, you have more mismatch problems than, than maybe we've had in the past. So I'm excited about, about the opportunities that we have and you know trying to find those matchups that, that are better for us and, and get them the ball. Ryan, what's it been like to see Frank Gore run the way he's running at this stage of his career? And yeah, I don't even know how Frank get, how old Frank is. He runs like he's 25. So uh, I'm excited to play with Frank. You know, He's uh, been a fan of his for a long time, how he plays the game, how hard he plays. and. Uh, the funnest part for me has been seeing him get through these little tiny cracks. You know, you see, looks like he's going to run right into the back of an offensive lineman, and somehow he does a subtle little cut, shifts his shoulders, and, and he's cutting through a tiny little crack. So uh, it's, it's really amazing. We sit back in the quarterback room and, and watch these cuts, and we're like, holy crap, do you see that? You're like, I don't think people realize how tough that is to do, and the vision you have to see, the anticipation that you have to have to make that type of cut. So he's really one of a kind, and I, I'm excited to play with him. Ryan, where do you guys stand with the no huddle offense? How is how is it progressing? It's good. You know, we're, we're constantly working on it. You know, I think we have a few different tempos that we can play at. You know, we can go in the huddle. We can go on the ball at a normal place, or we can go what we call our ludicrous speed and really you know press the tempo. So uh, I think that's going to help us and be a tool this year um, more than it has in the past. You know, we can change those tempos up and try to keep the defense on their heels. How often have you guys gone ludicrous speed? Here. Yeah, we had a few plays today in in the that last team period um, that uh, they were just out of the blue. You know, it was like normal tempo, normal tempo, boom. Then we jump into it and, and go really fast. So uh, I love doing that. I love getting the defense on their heels, and uh, and our guys do a good job of, of getting up on the ball and, and keeping that pressure on the defense. So uh, yeah, it's kind of on Gase to. Uh, to initiate that and call it, but uh, I love I love when he incorporates it. And what are you guys doing better as opposed to previous years in the no huddle or whatever speed up tempo? Here? Yeah, well, I think in 16 going back, you know, uh, first year in the offense for a bunch of guys, and um, it was just difficult to to be as consistent as we wanted to be. So we ended up huddling more that year. Uh, last year with all the changes, you know, made it made it more difficult. Uh, now going into this year, you know, we have we've had consistency for several years here with these guys. Um, they know what to do. They know what spots to be in, and uh, and now we're able to press the tempo. Ryan, you're a couple more guys. Training camp being over. I said this earlier. You know, I'm a little sad that, that it's over. You know, I love training camp. I love the grind. I love the time that we're able to spend together, to spend out here on the practice field, to spend in the meeting room. I think you get your biggest gains in this time of year. You know, you gain every, all times of the year, but I think your biggest gains are, are made in training camp. And uh, so, yeah, part of me is sad, but the other part of me is excited because. It marks the next phase, the next chapter of this season, and you know, getting ready for game one. Ryan, what's, what's the hardest part about playing in the heat, and how does it work to your advantage early in the season as opposed to late? And does it help down the road too? Yeah, I think it helps. You know, just we're accustomed to it. We're out here every single day, you know, grinding the heat. You know, pretty much no matter what what the, the temperature is or the index or anything like that. So, uh, you know, we should be accustomed to it more than any other team. And we have to use it to our advantage, especially with what I was talking about the tempo and things like that, of, of getting teams on their heels and then kind of grinding them down. You know, they might stay with us in the first, second, third, but you know, hopefully by the fourth quarter that we've, we've ground on them, pounded them enough where now we can use the heat and, and uh, the whole home field advantage to, to the fullest. Ryan, what's your impression of a couple of the rookies you've faced on the first team defense? Minka, Baker, and how they've worked out there? Yeah, they're doing a good job. You know, I think uh, Mika really kind of flashed in the spring. Um, and it's just continued to get better. They're moving around a lot. He's playing safety. He's playing nickel. He's kind of doing a little bit of everything back there. Um, but he's an extremely talented guy. You can tell he loves the game of football. He's a football player. Uh, he works extremely hard. So he has all the indicators that I love seeing a defensive player. Uh, I think he's uh, he's going to be a big time help for us. Last question from John here. He now talked about how they've seen more accountability and ownership from you this offseason. Is that something that's been a concern about for you? Um, I think it's just been a progression throughout my career. You know, I think um, the more confidence you get as far as games under your belt, time spent with the guys, uh, time in an offense, uh, dealing with all the bull crap that you deal with in this profession, you know, I think, yeah, at some point you're just kind of like, screw it, I'm going to be me and, uh, and do everything I can to win. And if they don't like it, then oh well, you know, so. Uh, I think that's that's part of it, and 
part of it's you know Gase and then the support he has for me, the confidence that he gives me to go out and be me and and lead the way I want to lead. Ryan. Ryan. Using your voice more this offseason? Uh, like I said, it's just progression. I don't. I wouldn't say it's something I'm really focusing on or anything like that. Just going out, being me, and trying to drive this team every single day to execute and, and hold our standard and, and win football games. Ryan, I know you addressed this in the past, but take us back through the injury with Raekwon and, and the re rehab and how you guys challenge each other. You've seen him go down and how you guys push each other in the offseason. Yeah, it was terrible seeing Raekwon go down. You know, it was first preseason game, kickoff, and I was up in the box, you know, kind of having a little pity party myself, you know, wishing I was out there. Uh, then see him go down, I wasn't really sure what it was. And as soon as I heard it was an ACL, you know, my heart was broken because I could, I knew the emotions that he was dealing with. I knew the pain, uh, the disappointment, uh, the anger, like all of those things that, that kind of overwhelm you in that moment. So uh, I really felt for him in that. And we actually had surgery on the same day. So we were, uh, we were right neck and neck the whole way through our rehab, pushing each other. Uh, day in and day out, you know, and little things that when we're in a competition, we find a way to make them a competition and just push each other and, you know, we're competitors. Uh, that's why I love, I found that out about Raekwon during that time and, and I love it about him is that he's a competitor, he loves competing and, and loves the game of football. So um, just being able to compete with him each and every day, there was some things that, that were really difficult. We did uh, some, some BFR, which was a, a grind. It's basically like a cuff that they put in and squeezes 80% of the blood flow out of your legs and then we'd ride the bike. And it started off as, uh, you know, we'd ride and then we made it a competition, right? So how far can you go in 10 minutes? And just kept boom, 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 boom. And, you know, pretty soon we were hitting like four miles and uh, it might not sound like a lot, but when you don't have <laughs> blood flow in your legs, I mean, your legs feel like they're gonna explode after the first 45 seconds. So uh, it's really just a mental grind. And, um, you know, we, we found a way to, to push each other and make each other better and uh, I think get mentally stronger through the whole process.